So I am announcing the release of another work from Just and Sinner Publishing House. Uh, this work is by John Towler on the Meditations on the Life and Passion of Christ. And this is part of our devotional classic series that we have been releasing, which has a number of devotional works, both from within the Lutheran tradition and then some precursors to devotional works within the Lutheran tradition and books that had a profound impact and influence uh, on Lutheran figures like Martin Luther and others as well. And so this particular volume is by a man named John Towler. Now, John Towler preceded the Reformation. He was a German mystic living in the 14th. Century. He was part of a group that was known as the Friends of God. Now, this was a, a period in the midst of turmoil in the institutional church, debates about the papacy, who the valid pope was. It's a very interesting period in, in church history. But in the midst of a lot of kind of ecclesiastical chaos, this group, the Friends of God, began focusing on personal piety, a personal relationship with God, personal faith. And this group was a mixture of both clergy and laity. And there were a number of influential figures who were part of this movement. Uh, and some of these are Meister Eckhart, who was kind of a controversial figure and still remains a controversial figure today because of some of the, the language that he used. And he ended up getting in trouble for some of the things that he had said. But along with him were two major figures, major students of his that had a profound impact on both the piety and and. and doctrine within the church following, especially in Germany. And those were Henry Suso and John Towler or Johann Towler. Now, Towler had a significant impact on Martin Luther's own theology. Luther often cited Towler. He reprinted editions of Towler's writings. The, the Theologia Germanica, which is also part of our devotional classic series, was what Luther said, the most important book that he read other than the Bible and possibly St. Augustine that had a strong formation on his own theology and understanding of sin and righteousness and the centrality of Christ and salvation. Now, the Theologia Germanica is likely a student of Tauler or somebody who was within that same school of thought. And it was often attributed to, to Tauler. So along with that work, Luther was very much impacted by Tauler's sermons and his other writings. And in particular, he was really influenced by the Christ-centeredness of these German mystics. And you see that profoundly within Tauler's preaching, but especially in this work. Now, this particular work, this is a translation from the end of the 19th century. It's a series of meditations on the life of Christ, and it goes through the various aspects of Christ's life, specifically then delving into his passion. So it's set up into a series of short devotions or meditations, uh, considering the, the things that Christ had done for us. And there is a strong emphasis on the confession of personal sin, the emphasis of how our sin has offended God, and then an emphasis on how Christ has paid for that sin and how Christ has atoned for that sin and how gracious God is for sending his son into human flesh to save us. So what you see is a lot of those same themes that are going to profoundly impact Luther and the Reformation as a whole. And so when you read Towler, it sounds very similar to what you find in a Johann Gerhard Sacred Meditations or someone like Johann Arndt. And both of those figures are also very much influenced by, by Towler. Now, I must say a word about you know, the authorship of this book because it is, has been notoriously difficult for scholars to identify exactly which works were written by Towler among that particular group of figures because there are a number of sermons and a number of treatises that came out at that time from that movement. That Towler, as the most significant and popular preacher, his name ended up being attached to a number of other works that he did not actually likely write. And so the Theologia Germanica is one example of this that Towler's name was often associated with, but it's widely recognized now that he did not in fact write it. So there may be some doubt as to whether Towler himself was specifically the author of this work uh, it, it is attributed to Towler at least, 
uh, but there is the possibility that he himself did not write it. But whether Towler himself wrote it or not, it certainly displays his influence, and what it is is a great picture of that school of thought in the Middle Ages. And the impact of the work is the same whether or not Tyler himself was actually the author. So what you find in this work is an extremely helpful, meditative work, a Christ-centered work, and one that I have found very beneficial and helpful in, in my own spiritual life, the kind of thing that you want to read during maybe the season of Lent, read one devotion a day, and uh, along with the medieval author, meditate on the work of Christ and what he has done for you. So that's uh, the newest release in our devotional classic series. We're in the midst of four weeks of four new book releases. So each Wednesday, the next two Wednesdays, we'll have uh, two more announcements as to some other books that we have been publishing. But uh, please go to jspublishing.org. Check out more information about Towler and about this devotional classics series. We will also have some more upcoming volumes, including works of, of St. Bernard of Clairvaux and some others who had a profound impact on uh, the piety and spirituality of the, of the Lutheran Reformation as well. And if you would like more information about Towler and the Friends of God and this medieval mystical movement that had such a profound impact on Luther, it's something that I could delve into in a podcast. So just let me know if you want to delve more deeply into Towler's life and the life of some of the others surrounding him. And I'd be happy to do that. This is an area that's always been an interest of mine. And I really enjoy these type of works. So anyway, we'll see you in the next video. God bless.